Kayla shaped like a finger. You know what? I have a question for you while you're doing that. <laughs> At what age did you first think that hemorrhoid related to you? When I first got them. <laughs> I ran to my mother. What's happened to me is I'm being invaded. <laughs> this can't be. Wait a minute. Child, I told you about eating all that cheese. I tell you about eating all that cheese, boy. You'll eat the vegetables, and I'm going to make you some greens. I see. And you're going to get better. I see, you're wrong, man. <laughs> because you know when we grew up that it was a certain time where, you know. we Teenagers make, always are where constipation knew. starts, man. You teenagers, because they eat all that junk. You know what the teenagers like to tell them? Vegetables are not the lettuce on the burger. That doesn't count as a vegetable. They try it. <laughs> They're like, trying. The man. lettuce on the taco. It's not They're trying, man. a vegetable for the day. It's, you know, one brick at a time, baby. One brick That's at a time. That's how they pass those stools. One brick at a time. <laughs> so as you can see, we're talking about morning coffee. People say, what the hell? Well, that's the, are you having your bread muffin? <laughs> yeah, that's so right. You don't have to worry. Thank you. That's right, because you eat it right. And it's all about eating right, living right. Because Vic says we got to bring you things in a way that, you know, it's, it's uplifting. Now, you guys, did I tell them what the slogan was for the week, Vic? You, I think you did, but you may have to bring it back. I told them yesterday. I'm supposed to tell you every day. The slogan for the week, and I quote, is I do not intend to tiptoe through life only to arrive safely at death. Mm. All right? Mm. I don't intend to tip through, tiptoe through mm. life mm. only to arrive safely at death. Like All right, that. so we got a bunch of news. First of all, we got to acknowledge the news of the morning. The hot news of the morning is that there's been a plane crash up in Alaska. Yeah. And it looks like uh, Alaska Senator Ted Stevens, along with some other folks, have lost their lives. Sorry to hear that. They're mobilizing yeah. folks right now. Did they actually, you know, I know they... attempt to rescue them. Did they already do the official saying that he has been accounted as one who has... No, they uh, haven't. They haven't, Vic. But when the pam family releases a statement, that tells I go you. like, you must know something we don't know. <laughs> I know. I know. It is bad. So there's nine nine people who apparently were on the plane, but only seven have been accounted for or reported. I, I assume five Man. dead, two, or excuse me, five have passed. Two are seriously injured, but the other two we don't know. And, you know, you know, for those of you interested in planes, you know, at times some of us think about these little planes, but those smaller ones are the ones that have the disproportionate number of crashes. Yeah. I don't know about this particular size, but, yeah, uh, well, Vic, you know, well, it could be a loss. I mean, I think that's what people are talking about. The family's already released a statement yeah. about this, so we want to send our uh, condolences out to the family uh, to all the uh, the, the family and, and the victims there in the, in the plane crash. Yeah, and you're talking about in a mountainous area, and I heard somebody explaining about the, um, I guess you can call it the topographical area or typographical area, whatever they could refer to. My apologies on the on the wording, but they were actually talking about how the mountains come up very fast. In other words, not just the approach of mountainous or the range, it's that they slope up very fast. And for a plane like that to adjust, it's just, it would be very difficult. And on the other hand, they were talking about the difficulty in landing in a water-based area where there's a, you know, the offshore where the waves may be coming in at three or five feet. Since that is more dangerous because you just don't realize how you have to pick your spots or something like that. And I was saying, well, I don't even know, was it a land uh, crash or was it a water crash? I don't. Even know. I don't. I don't know either. I. You know. They. That's exactly what they were saying. That in us, there's a lot of wind, and then you have these big drops where you right. drop into the canyons and stuff. And then with the wind being a factor, that's supposedly part of it. Yeah. But again, you know. So you guys. So so a little. So more news. More news. And so that's the thing that's coming across the news today. And one other. Uh, uh, the former NASA chief was on the plane as well. So that uh, that is substantial as well. That's right. Yeah. So hearts and uh, prayers go out to the family. Well, well, we got a bunch of news today. All right. Yeah. First, so and back here in the United States, we're we're dealing with our own uh, problems. You know, the uh, the story of the week was the the ten that were killed in Afghanistan, the U.S. aid workers that were killed in Afghanistan uh, early this week, and the bodies have been arriving back. Mm -hmm. You know, ongoing controversy about our, our actions in Afghanistan from people who support everything we're doing to people who wanted things done, you know, more, in a more severe fashion. Right. This on top of the whole week, WikiLeaks issue, uh, and the WikiLeaks issue has to do uh, with 
the fact that they released all this materials, some of which over a year in old, this material, yeah. which was many experts were saying was actually no threat at all to the U.S., but now the U.S. is saying that it's a threat. Uh, there's many are questioning whether the whole thing is a political ploy to use as an example, as an excuse to go after leftist portions of our society. In other words, you leak your own stuff. And remember, we found out that it wasn't uncommon for business, these kinds of business practices to be done with even in business. Right. You leak your own stuff, then you claim, why is it leaked? Right. And then you initiate a campaign to shut down everybody. Yeah. So we're dubious and suspicious. And also, the whole question is, uh, they're trying to say that, you know, the leaks are causing the risk of people. In our, and, and again, not everybody even accepts all that, Vic. Yeah. Uh, um, but uh, let's deal with the story from Al Jazeera. Uh, once again, we get a lot of our news pieces from Al Jazeera because they at least allow us to show them to you. We would show uh, news pieces from all the majors here in the United States, but not a one of them is willing to even allow us to exercise our constitutionally guaranteed rights. In other words, they are right now blackmailing people, harassing people just for putting little newsworthy clips in. Yeah. And so uh, it's a war that goes on and on. But right now, and let me get the audio up. Here we have Al Jazeera and their piece on the civilian deaths. Uh, wow. Because p that's part of the issue in Afghanistan, Vic, which people don't realize. The WikiLeaks said that we were killing 15 civilians for every al-Qaeda person. That's how bad yeah. we were doing. Now, I didn't, and does that matter? Should that be held a secret from you, the American public? I suggest it shouldn't be a secret. I agree. I believe the enemy knows you're killing 15. True. <laughs> it ain't a secret to them. Yeah. Hello, I'm fully back. So that's the whole thing we're saying. So that's part of the part they don't want to get out. Hello, I'm Fully Batibo. This is Al Jazeera, and these are the stories making headlines. The United Nations says it's going to launch an appeal to raise hundreds of millions of dollars for victims of the Pakistan flood disaster. Meanwhile, thousands of people are leaving the city of Muzaffaragai in Pakistan's central Punjab province. It comes after authorities called for evacuations, warning that swollen rivers could submerge the area. Now, that's the piece, I guess the story's jumping around a little bit. That's the piece we've been covering, too, in Pakistan, the ongoing flooding. Pakistan having a hard time right now Yeah. Uh, with, with natural disasters also. Yeah. Uh, but we were More actually trying to... More than 700 people are not the area. More than 700 people are now confirmed dead following floods which have caused... And these are the Chinese floods. Yeah. Now, look, look at this devastation. Not just in here. China. Search teams are still trying to find another... Look at this. Yeah. Footed you all to see what's happening. people who were missing. Heavy rains triggered a deluge of mud which buried entire buildings. Melissa Chan is in... Yeah, that's serious. Zoku County in Gansu province. The entire... We're actually trying to uh, get to the part, but it's, it's pertinent that you see this. Province. The entire thing happened in 10 minutes. The mud flow came tearing down the mountain, bulldozing all buildings along its path at the same time as the water levels rose from the river at the other end of the street. That left very little room for anyone to escape, and most people were wow, buried alive. Okay. The United mm. Nations says child deaths in Afghanistan have increased by more than a half, and civilian casualties are up almost a third compared to a year ago. It says the figures back up the widespread perception among ordinary Afghans that they are increasingly becoming the primary target. But the UN says fighters are responsible for most of the deaths and that civilian casualties caused by NATO airstrikes are on their way down. Now, again, we wanted War to comment on that, you guys, because one of the things in warfare, and this is inevitable, imagine that you're sitting behind.